Hey everyone, my name is Kevin and I'm back yet again with another new video, and today we're going to be going back into Marvel and reviewing uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, Spider-Man Far From Home seems to be uh, at least one of the most popular Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, sequels of Phase 3 at this point, because people have been making videos saying that it's the best Spider-Man film at this point. To be honest, I won't call it the best Spider-Man film, but it is a, I would rather call it the best Spider-Man sequel, especially because of the fact that it's literally a Spider-Man sequel, and so what happens in this movie is that it takes place after ending game, and Peter is trying to adjust and continue being Spider-Man after the death of Tony Stark. Now, uh, to be honest, yeah, I understand this is kind of a bit of a spoiler for Endgame, and I had the meaning to actually not actually spoil Endgame, but that's exactly what the entire movie of this, the entire point of this movie is. Like, it's seriously about Peter trying to adjust the events of Endgame, and it does play somewhat like a regular everyday Spider-Man film for Tom Holland, especially because of the fact that Tom Holland is perfect for this, um, for this, uh, this Spider-Man. Not to mention that this movie also focuses more on how Spider-Man is dressed in in the entirety of the movie than how he becomes a hero. Because, yes, he is a hero, but like what he does in the sequel is pretty much focusing on his suit more. Because in the first one, he, he, he still keeps his Iron Spider suit, but for some reason he doesn't like wear his original suit. And then at some point from when he meets Mysterio and teams up with him, he wears a stealth suit. That looks like he's, at, he's like some type of, uh, shield soldier and not an Avenger, and then, then there's this other time where he makes his final suit, which I feel as if that's gonna be his final suit for his third and final movie until he comes back as like a side character or a main character for the next Avengers movies. <coughs> <coughs> not to mention that in. In this one, he the the suit right here in the image right here. This is actually the the main suit for this for the movie. I don't know why they they thought it was a good idea for Spider Man to wear to change suits every time in the movie. And the to be honest, I'm not really that I'm not really that mad about what um what the Russo brothers chose to do with Spider Man with his suit all the time. It it just would be nice if he uh if he just worn his original suit and then it gets badly damaged at some point with his last fight with Mysterio and then he uh and then he just goes on and gets a new suit and then he wears this new suit right here instead but they just kept giving him suit after suit after suit until he gets to the last suit like the newest suit I'm not really sure what what suit this is called I think it's like the ultimate Spider-Man suit or something the reason why it's black and red is because in the comics he was originally supposed to be red and black in the comics but they changed him to be red and blue which is actually a reference to his spider-man suit to right now and I, I i really like it though it's not really that bad but i just wish that they didn't change his suit constantly now enough about the suit now let's talk about the villain now, you would think that the main villains would be the uh, Elementals, these creatures from another world after the snap that was caused th by the snap by Thanos, Hulk, and and Iron Man, like, many times. I'm not really sure which snap actually caused a hole to be ripped from another universe, but whatever it was, it, it, that's what happened. Now, I would tell you what really, what's really going on, but I don't want to spoil too much. Just go ahead and just, just believe me when I say that it's about uh, a hero that's really a villain coming to Earth and trying to be the best hero on, on the planet that he is on right now. And people have been stating that this mo that Spider-Man uh, Far From Home is actually going to lead us into Spider-Man 3, where he goes to either other universes, uh, other universes, that are different versions of Spider-Man, or, or it's the other way around, and those versions of Spider-Man comes to his Earth, and they have to team up to fight the big villain, which is kind of like the same as Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, but the only difference is maybe, uh, maybe, like, the Sinister Six will play much, much more of a bigger role. I'm not really sure, really, exactly as to what's going to happen, because, like, in the end, uh, I'll just do just one little spoiler. In the end... Uh, Peter Parker does, in fact, get his identity 
revealed to pretty much everyone in the world, or at least everyone in New York. And he, and now everyone believes that he's now a villain, he's a threat that everyone needs to stop him with. And I do think that the third film, he's going to be wanted for pretty much everything. And since Tony isn't here, I don't think he can, I don't think he can actually defend himself. So I think the third film will actually focus on him trying to clear his name and is also trying to team up with other superheroes that will help him. My best guess is that Doctor Strange will help him and Pepper Potts and War Machine. Uh, I'm not really sure who else could be helping him because, like, that's the closest characters I know that could actually help him. But other than that, that's really all there is to it. Like, there's this one, there's one more thing I do want to mention here. It, and that's the relationship between Peter and and uh, MJ. Now, Peter and MJ, these two, I really do like these characters better than the than the last girl that Peter tried to uh, try to go out with from Homecoming. It's she's much better than uh, MJ is much better than her. I don't remember her name at the moment, but I have to tell you that MJ is much better. I don't want to spoil too much because like their relationship is just wow. I I. I just don't believe it. Not to mention that uh, MJ actually figured out that Spider uh, Spider Man is really Peter Parker, and that's kind of a big reveal. I mean, it's not really that much of a big reveal. I mean, I feel like most some people do know that Peter is Spider Man, like everyone who isn't a superhero and is in Peter's life, other than Ned and MJ. So, uh, that's that's pretty much it. Like that that's literally everything there is to know for the film. So, other than that, uh, I really do like what, uh, what the Russo brothers did for this Spider-Man sequel, and I actually do agree with them. This is actually the best Spider-Man, uh, movie. No, 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 it's best Spider-Man sequel. Not best movie, but best sequel. Because there's no such thing as the best superhero movie. Only, there's only the best Spider-Man sequel. So, other than that, I'm going to give Spider-Man... Uh, Far From Home, a standard 9 out of 10, because, well, it, uh, no, no, standard uh, 10 out of 10, because it was actually pretty, that, that was actually, it was actually that good, it's good enough to have a 10 out of 10 rating, but other than that, that's all to say, thank you so much for watching, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like the video, and subscribe for more content, my name is Kevin, and I look forward to hearing from you.